Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and it's my MFT day. Last month, you guys liked when I did the masking over here and the coloring over there so much that I thought I'd do it again because I had a crazy idea for my masking I'm using the Tweet Memories stamp set that has birds in it. And there's a few things I wanted to do. This birdhouse, I wanted it closer in from the edge. I wanted to extend that branch. I wasn't sure how far I was going to need it, but my paper is cut larger than the card front. So I just wanted to give it some extra breathing room. So I did a real simple masking just using a post-it note to block off that edge because there's a vertical line at the end of the branch. And I wanted that to disappear so I could use a pen to extend it. This other stamp has a couple of birds in it sitting on a swing and they were sitting really close to the branch and I wanted to move them down and extend the branch. So I put some sticky notes down across the places where I could like kind of block off that branch portion and double check to make sure it was going to work and then stamped it. So I just have these two little sticks coming up for the swing and then I'm left with what do I want to do with the branch above. And what I decided was rather than replicate the branch that's there for the tree, I wanted to use the branch that the birds have, but I want to turn it upside down so that the leaves kind of tick up at the end on the right hand side. So in order to place it and make sure that I didn't get anything kitty wampus, I used a piece of plastic, which is actually the plastic from the stamp set, taped it down in place so I could turn the stamp upside down and then stamp this section and then use that to figure out where to put my sticky notes for my masking. So you do make sure that you've taped it down because magnets are generally not enough to hold this in place when you're trying to do delicate placement of your sticky notes. But I can stick these underneath of the plastic and just kind of line them up to block off the portions that I don't want to have. So there's swing and birds up above this time and I want to get them gone. So then all I have to do is ink it up and be ready to go. Now you can use like a baby wipe like I'm doing here to make sure you don't have any excess above there. So I just want to make sure those little strings didn't stick out of the top of the branch. But if they did, it's easy enough to go in with a pen and fix because I will have some pen work to do on this in any case because it was just going to be an issue. Now, one of the things that happened is my magnet let the paper move a little bit. So I wasn't able to restamp this to get this last leaf restamped, but I had my Micron pen out. This is a Micron 005. So it's got really thin lines that are going to match the width of these lines. And Microns are also waterproof. And I'm going to be using watercolor pencil over on the MFT channel. So I wanted to be sure that I could kind of match that line and do it with something that won't bleed when I start doing my watercolor pencil work. I did decide to add a couple extra leaves and I followed one of the flowers, just made a little U shape with a squiggle on top and a line across it. Very easy to draw so that I could bring just one more of those flowers out onto the branch. My tree branch here got way thicker than I expected it to, but I knew some of that was going to be cut off and besides which branches should get thicker as they get toward the base of the tree. So that'll be fine. And then I have a, a little plastic T-square and I'm using that alongside my Misty so that I can actually make sure my lines are nice and straight, get them all lined up well and any final touch-ups and I'm ready to go to make the card. So this is what I'll be making on the MFT channel. It's in the Karen Dash Super Color pencils. I'm also going to be using my Super Color pencils in Facebook Live tonight. So I hope you'll be able to join me. And if you're watching this later, you can always go get the replay. I will try to put the link in the doobly-doo. Message me if I haven't done that yet. But you can download this image for free for a time period over at MFT and color along with me. You can print it on Nina because I'm going to be talking about using your watercolor pencils on other papers. All right. Thank you so much. I hope to see you on Facebook. If not, I'll see you back here next week. Take care.